Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Isabel Umahi and if you're new here, please do not forget to subscribe, like this video and give this video a huge thumbs up. So guys, today I created this soft, beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous look and Lee Signature made this hair and it's so gorgeous. And if you love to learn how I created this look, please do keep watching. Thank you guys so much. So guys, I started by doing the foundation for this video. You guys, there's a skin prep video on my page. Please do go watch that. And basically, I just wanted to start with foundation. You guys, you already know the skin prep. There's a video down, so just watch that. For this look, actually, I did not do any primer. Reason being that her skin was so dry. Like, literally, she had dry skin. So I just wanted to use just the moisturizer on her face to do this look and it worked perfectly because applying um primer on already dry skin is just drying it out all over again so there was no need for me to dry out her skin and the moisturizer what you guys can see her skin looks fresh it doesn't even look like she's on foundation and that's because this nyx foundation this is the nyx bond to glow foundation in cappuccino yes yeah, is what i used all over it's actually a very lightweight foundation and it looks so good. So you guys, you can try this foundation. If you already know, I use it a lot on this channel. If you watch my videos, I absolutely love it. It's so good. It's just as good as NAS. I'm not going to say maybe not as good as, but you know, it's kind of a dupe if you cannot afford NAS. Right now, what I'm doing is using my um, black opacity foundation. This is in Carob and I'm just using it to create a warmth on her face. And then I'm also going to be using it to contour her nose. It's not so dark. It's kind of a little bit, just very little bit darker than her. So it's not really creating a contour as much. But I loved it because I did not want to have any harsh line on her face. I just wanted it to just, you know, create a warmth on her face. And, you know, this did it perfectly for me. If I wanted to go with contour, I could have used the darker foundation. But I did not want to... Um, you know, do the whole contour contour, you know, even her face is already having a contour on its own without, you know, applying a darker um, shade of foundation or whatever. So this looked, you know, beautiful. You can see her skin looks so good. Right now I'm using my Bobbi Brown lipstick. This is a pink lipstick from Bobbi Brown and I'm using it as my cream blush or yeah, my cream blush. So guys, I've said this in my last video that I'll be experimenting with using a lot of lip products as my cream blush. And that is what I'm doing now. And I can't even lie to you guys, I'm loving it. It actually sits beautifully, seriously. I say you don't need to waste your money buying <laughs> cream blushes, but you don't need to waste your money buying cream blushes. Did I say that? Seriously, you guys try your lip sticks it is amazing look at this just look at this this looks so good so beautiful it's blended perfectly right now i'm using my kevin coin concealer and this is the x12 concealer i love this because this just gave me the right amount of yellow that was perfect for her skin tone. You guys, look at this yellow. Is this not a perfect match? No. Is this not a perfect match? Is answer? It's not. <laughs> it's a maxing. It's not a perfect match. You guys, this was so lovely. Just applying it and it blended so well. If you watch my videos, you know I love using Kevin Alcorn. Like it blends beautifully. It gives a great coverage. It's, it's just amazing you just get it please get it and like always i'm using my white glam beauty blender to blend out this product so it's sitting properly so guys i don't know if i say this enough on this channel but i am a makeup artist so you can book your makeup looks through me yes you can send me a message just comment down below if you want my number if you want to send me a private message and you can also follow me on instagram on Isabel Makeover, that is my pro page, and my personal page is Isabel Umahi on Instagram. You can follow me there too, so you can book your makeovers on my pro page. Send a DM, send a message, 
whatever you need. We do bridal services, studio makeup, whatever makeup related. I'm advertising it now. Don't say I did not see it too. <laughs> Book me for that flawless, beautiful look. And I'm going to come true. Ah, so right now I'm just blending. So I'm just going to leave you guys with... So just watch this video of me blending the skin. You guys, you see, it doesn't even take a lot. Like, it's just blending beautifully. Like this... Uh, Kevin coin is just amazing. It, it's just beautiful. So after blending the highlights, I'm just blending the blush that went off. You know, just putting it a little back and just blending it so that it just rhymes in with the skin and it looks flawless. I'm not going to be applying a lot of concealer on her face. After applying just that concealer, I'm just going to go straight up and and um, set the face. I'm using the Mera Cosmetic Beauty, um, Setting Powder. The Mera Cosmetic Setting Powder in Cori. This is what I'm using to set her face. And I'm just setting under her eyes, the forehead, everywhere I highlighted, I set. And right now I'm using this Milani Cosmetics in deep all over her face. This was just the perfect shade for her. You can just see it just sits so properly. Normally I use my Dabel palette, but this... I, I don't know. I've had this Milani and I don't know why I forgot that I had Milani <laughs> powder. Does this happen to you guys? You have a product and you totally forgot you have it. Mm. But this Milani sat beautifully well and I just loved it. And now I don't think I'm going to stop using it. I don't think so. I'm using my Morph 3T Totally Tan Palette and I'm using the first um, contour no, the first bronzer, and I'm just using it to bronze all over her face. I'm also using it to blend the contour on her nose so it's properly defined. And I use it all over her cheekbone and her forehead. So right now I'm about to do the brows and I'm just setting the brows i use setting powder on the brow so that whatever foundation whatever cream products are there it will just mattify it and i'm also baking the face so that it's going to hold my fallout and just you know to set the face properly so i always love to snatch the nose a little bit with powder it just once you dust it off it just gives you know that snatch effect on the corners of the nose is so beautiful Right now I'm going in with my blush and I'm using the V Beauty blush palette and I'm just going to be applying that pink shade of blush on her cheek. And yes, I know it looks like it's a lot now, but when it blends, it's going to sit beautifully. So I'm just applying that and I'm going to let it sit there for now while I go ahead and do my brows. Using the Beauty Line by Didi, um, Beauty line by Didi Pencil, and this is what I'm going to be using to do the brows. And I'm just lining underneath the brow, and then I'll do the top, and then I'm just going to fill it. I also use the classic pencil to do the to fill the tail of these brows, just because I wanted that part to be a little bit darker because it was very scanty. So I just wanted it to have more of a darker effect. And then for the beginning part of the brows, I definitely still went on with the Beauty Line by Didi. And I used that to draw strokes of hair on the brows. And it looked really so nice. You guys, these brows, they looked really nice. I feel like I need to do an updated version of my brows because I just feel like my brows have changed a little bit. So if you care for an updated version of my brows now, please do request for that in the comment section and i'll just do a detailed a more detailed updated version of my brow so right now i'm brushing it and i'm going over with the same concealer i use the kevin coin concealer 
underneath the brow bone and for the top of the brows i'm going to be using the same foundation i used for her face on top so that it's not obvious i do not like it when the top of the brows the concealer is showing you guys you already know i don't like that so sometimes i use a darker concealer or sometimes i just go ahead and use the foundation so you know you just blend and i take very little amount it looks like as if there's nothing on my hand so when i'm blending it sits properly and perfectly right now i'm using the ben nye eyeshadow base and i'm just going to be applying this eyeshadow base all over the lid why i love this eyeshadow it works so well for matte eyeshadow it just gives that perfect coverage you need and it makes the matte eyeshadow pop a lot and it just sits perfectly but for it to sit perfectly please take your time to blend it i always like to use my fingertips to blend so it's really nice so for this eyeshadow look i'm using this huda beauty mini palette and i'm just going to be using that shade that is a nude matte shade and i'm just going to be using it all over the eyelid i'm going to link it down below the name of this particular palette but this is just the mini palette from huda beauty so using that particular shade you guys i've used this shade a lot so you can see it's almost <laughs> it's almost finishing compared with other shades in this palette i use this one a whole lot it's so good it's so beautiful for especially for your bridal looks it's really nice now i'm going in with anastasia beverly hills soft glam i'm using that first color it's kind of like a white color with little pigments little white pigment or white glitters and i'm just topping it all over the lid on top of the huda beauty eyeshadow i did for my transition shade i'm using those two peach colors and i'm just going to be running that on the crease area this is going to serve as a transition for my colors and now i just use a brown eyeshadow also from my soft glam palette just a dark brown eyeshadow any dark brown eyeshadow absolutely works i use that to create that v at the outer corner of the eyes and now I'm going on with a black eyeshadow from the same soft glam Anastasia Beverly is soft glam and I'm just use that I just use that matte black to form a V also in the part I apply the brown. So you can see how the V shape just lifted her eyes and it looks so nice. Also smudge underneath her eyes with a brown shade, the brown I used to form the first um contour for the outer corner of the eyes. And right now I'm just lining her eyes and I'm using the 77 gel liner from Inglot. And after lining her eyes, I just smudged the liner a little bit, especially the outer corner with a little bit of a black. So it just blended in with the contour, the outer contour of the black eyeshadow I did. And it looked really beautiful. After doing this, I just went on and I applied my lashes. I used the Vuan Beauty Lash. It's not numbered, guys, so I don't know the number. And you guys, look at those lashes. They look really nice. Right now, I'm using my MSF powder. This is the Mac Mineralized Powder in Dark Deep. And I'm just using that on top of that blush area. Just using it to smoothen it out a little bit. And now... I went over my face with the Blani powder and I just used it to blend all over her face. And I'm using the first powder, that first powder in my morph palette, that yellow one. I just placed it under the eyes just to make that part pop a little bit more. And going over with the setting spray, this is the Juba setting spray. I used that to set all over the face. Right now, I'm just using the Chi Glaze, the TM Essential Chi Glaze in Bomb. And I'm just using that as my highlighter. That served as my liquid highlight and I applied it at the high point of the face. Going over with my Zara 4 in 1 mascara, I applied that underneath the eyes. Did my mascara look. And right now, I'm applying my highlighter from Inglots. This is in O3. And I'm just applying very little on the cheek part. I just, I did not want that place to pop a lot. I just said it's very, very subtle. I applied in the nose and just a little in the cheek area i cleaned up the lips and i just applied a little bit of the gloss classic gloss just to make the lips to be 
moisturized. I wanted it to be moisturized and I let it sit there for a while before I took it off. So this inner corner of the eyes, I applied a silver glitter. This is an inglot glitter. So I applied that in the inner corner of the eyes and it just popped out looking so beautiful. The number of the silver glitter is number 66. So that's why I applied and used it to pop the eyes. I did not line underneath the eyes, guys. I just used that matte um, eyeshadow from the Soft Glam. And I, that's what I used in smudging the under eye. Going over for the lips, I applied the lip stain, classic lip stain in Tonda. And I used it to line all over the lips. And in the middle of the lips, I applied this baby doll in NYX lip stain. And I just am blending it with... Um, a peach shade from my eye magic palette and i'm just using that to blend the both colors and after that i'm going over with my gloss from classic and i'm just going to be glossing all over the lips you guys look at how beautiful this lips is looking and it's matched um this eye looks so beautifully it looked so good You guys tell me what do you think about this look do you love it as much as i do because i absolutely loved this look and i absolutely love filming this look for you guys if there's a look you want me to film for you guys please do let me know and i will be filming that look for you all if you have any question about this look please do let me know in the comment section thank you guys so so much for watching this video please do not forget to subscribe to this channel i love you guys and i'll see my next video bye bye